Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You're watching for today. Few days back, we reviewed the latest Nothing OS 2.4.1 Open Beta 1 for Nothing Phone 1. But still, Nothing OS team didn't release their final stable version of Nothing OS 2.4.1 and 14. They are improving the stability and the performance of the firmware and removing the bugs that were reported by the Open Beta users. So, I was using the Nothing OS 2.4.1 Open Beta 1 and via stock OTA we get this new OTA notification for Nothing OS 2.4.1 Open Beta 2. I updated the new version and thoroughly tested it. Today in this video we will discuss the whole chain log of new update, we will discuss performance and CPU stability as compared to old build. At last we will show you if there are any bugs still present in this update as compared to old build. So watch this video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. On the new so I was using the Nothing OS 2.4.1 Open Beta 1 on my Nothing Phone 1. Via stock OT updater, I got the notification of new update of Nothing OS 2.5.1 Open Beta 2. This update is just 83 MB in the size, but chain log is huge. So, if you got this OTA, you can directly download from here. Or, if you still didn't got this update of Open Beta 2, then your device must be on the Nothing OS Open Beta 1. Download this incremental OTA package given under the video description. Create the OTA named folder inside the storage. Now transfer this file inside the OTA folder. Now go to the dialer there dial star star 682 hash star hash star and you will get this new manual updater screen. Then just tap directly apply OTA from the select. And flashing of new update will start. Once done, you will get the notification of update successful. Then tap reboot. So device got booted into the new Nothing OS 2.4.1 Open Beta 2. Everything is same like old build. If you want to check what new features were added by the Nothing in this new update, then please check out our old video. Its link is given under the video description. Under the upper phone details, our Nothing OS version is upgraded to Nothing OS 2.4.1 Open Beta 2. Build number of this new update is Space for U 2.5, build laid on the 6th January 2023. This is same Android 14 version with the Google's new Space War type historic. Security patch is updated to the latest January 2024. Kernel version is same like old build, it's 5.4.242. Now let's check out the change log details of the new update. First one is regarding the camera. Its version is same like old build, it's 12.0.1. Nothing has improved their, their night mode photos in this update. If you have seen our old videos regarding the camera comparison of Nord 2 was Nothing Phone 1 with the Open Beta 1 update. Their night mode pictures of Nothing Phone camera didn't turn any work, they remained completely dark where Nord 2 camera gathered more light. But this time, I took some pictures in the dark mode condition from the minimum to higher level of darkness and in all the condition pictures were appeared very well. Lots of light gathered by the camera lenses to produce the sharp and clear pictures. Here you can check some samples and all are very good. So night mode pictures are improved in this new update. Next shutter speed also got improved in this update. It feels more smoother while taking pictures. Next nothing has claimed that they optimized the sound effect for the specific games. Which are the specific games they didn't mention here, but they may be high end graphics games like BGMI, Modern Combat, etc. Next feature they added is when phone is locked and when you try to access the QS panel, it's now accessible here along with the sometimes like network and connectivity options can be toggled on or off even if your device is pin or fingerprint locked. You can toggle on or off Bluetooth, Leaf Light, Torch, Wi Fi hotspot but can't able to toggle on or off the Wi-Fi and the network options. Aeroplane mode is accessible, NFC and battery share is also accessible when device is locked with the PIN or password. So most of the things can be accessible even if our device is locked on the lock screen. Next nothing has added support for the more chargers. So different company chargers with the different charging capacity can now charge the nothing phone one 
previously nothing phone one charges on the 40 watt capacity which was working well for the nothing phone one next nothing has improved the ram management of this update so the different tasks didn't get killer in the background even if you open up the lots of different application at the same time even they optimized the performance of the device when the ram memory is too low because of lots of application are running in the background next fingerprint recognition accuracy has been improved in this update it's more accurate and faster both on the aod mode and on the lock screen it unlocks the phone faster next vlt icon is now optimized in the status bar without taking too much space next part of the change log is bug fixes done in this new update First one is the team has done the improvement in the abnormal notification background colors. Actually, I did not see such issues in the previous build too. Next, they improved the Bluetooth icon and response in the Quest panel sometimes, but now it's working good without any delay. Next, they resolved the battery percentage was not displaying issue. This option is available under the display and the status bar, and now it's working good. Similarly, they resolved the abnormal display issue for the clock widget on the home screen. Next, they claimed that they resolved the unresponsive calculator widget on the lock screen, but actually, I didn't find any calculator widget available for the lock screen in the setting. Except this, they improved the stability and the performance of the new update. So I did the Geekbench test here. I got the score of 1069 and 3025 for the single and multi-core respectively. For the old open beta one, it was 950 and 3019. Here, small single core performance improvement has been found. For GPU graphics, OpenGL and Hocken graphics has the score of 2085 and 2759. While for the old build, it was 2315 and 2785. Here, exactly opposite thing has been happened. OpenGL performance has been downgraded for the new update as compared to old. Still, in the real life performance, you will not feel any kind of lag for the both the Open Beta One and Open Beta Two. Everything is gliding on the fingertips. Overall, experience is smoother for the new update. Last time, CPU throttle experience of Open Beta One was very bad, so I did the same test this time to check is that issue got solved or not. This time, after running the test on the 20 threads for the five minutes, I didn't even got a single red or yellow line for the performance drop. After stopping a test, I got the score of 90%, while last build has the score of 74%, which is a lot improvement. Now comes the important section of the video, that is the bugs and the missing feature. The bugs shown in this video are only faced by the unlocked bootloader devices, like SafetyNet CTS profile is getting failed, and Device Play Protect is showing devices uncertified. I didn't know if this issue are also same for the locked bootloader devices or not, so please mention this in the comment section. Next, like old build, this one also didn't have the no under 14 new lock screen widgets, new AI generated wallpapers and emojis settings under the wallpaper and style section of the device. In the quest panel, also we didn't get the new linear font control tile, uh, which is available for the under 14. Devices, except this missing feature, nothing serious I found in the new Open Beta 2. I think nothing will release the next update as the stable nothing goes to dot five dot one. So stay tuned to our channel for the review of that update. So please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.